Which bakso do you recommend for me to try for my first time? Yeah. Bakso biasa? Bakso biasa dengan bakso berani. This is what I recommend you guys do when in Malaysia. Walk around and just eat everything. <laughs> That's how you're gonna have the best time here. 30 to like $60, and I'm sure they even get more expensive than that. Now, Brad, you live in the north of Thailand. How much is one durian? Yeah. Oh, oh no, I just dropped the durian. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Kuala Lumpur. Now, right now, surprisingly, it's a fresh day out here. The last few days have been incredibly humid, and the city's known for being humid, but today I actually feel quite fresh. And well, I decided to head on out and walk around the Chinatown area. Of course, with my friend Brad now. What's up, guys? Brad, you haven't actually made it to the Chinatown area here in KL yet. Not yet. So today, I'm going to show you one of my favorite parts of the city because I believe that this is like one of the most vibrant areas. And you're going to notice that um, it's a huge melting pot here. There's a melting pot of people from all over the world. And this is why I feel like the Chinatown here is incredibly unique to others around the world. Have you been to many other Chinatowns? Let's see, I've done the Bangkok one. I've been to the one in Los Angeles. Okay. Uh, I think I've, I think San Francisco, for sure. Oh, San, yep, but that's a classic. Otherwise, not too many. Okay. A few. Well, personally, um, I think Bangkok is my favorite in the world. Then I would say the second best is San Francisco. Okay. And the third, in my opinion, is here. A lot of people would say that New York okay. is like the top three, but I think New York City, Chinatown is slowly starting to lose its touch. Like, like San Francisco is as well. A lot of places are start, slowly starting to lose their touch. But here, um, you're gonna notice that it's Whoa. pretty different. Yeah, what you're looking at right there is the entrance to Petaling Street. That is actually where you find a large amount of like knockoffs, counterfeit items. It's, yeah, more of like a, a fake market. Okay. I, um, I actually filmed a video down that street for you guys last year. A lot of you enjoyed it, but unfortunately, I can't go back down that street anymore. YouTube doesn't feel the same way that I do about those videos. They tell me, Chris, you do that again, it's gonna be bad. But look, bro, you actually get an amazing view oh, wow. of the Merdeka 118 tower right here. That's the second to largest to or second tallest building in the world. And it's not open yet, but Rumor has it that it is gonna be open this year. If any of you guys know, when is the grand opening for Merdeka 118? Because I tried Googling it. Let me know down in the comments because I definitely wanna be back here when that opens. But yeah, this here is the Chinatown area. It's super beautiful. And for all of you guys that are coming to Kuala Lumpur, this is one of those places that you have to visit when in the city. But yeah, this is Jalan Petaling. And you might have realized, Brad, since you've gotten here, that a lot of the streets say Jalan in front of them. Yeah. What is that? I think I am not an expert. I don't know why I'm acting like I am. But I think Jalan means street. And then Petaling is, well, Petaling streets. That's why Jalan Alor, it's Alor streets. Okay. Where we yeah. were at last night. I've just put that together. I'm not That's an right. expert though. I'm not an expert. Now, you know what? Um, we're actually gonna veer off into the side streets. I'm not gonna really walk down Petaling streets here in this video because you guys can watch my previous videos to see that. And I have a feeling that, you know, we'll walk that later on without the camera because we don't want to get in trouble here. How about we go check out what lies between the side streets and maybe get some grub? Sounds good. Looks like there's a lot of stuff going on out here. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff going on. Now, it is a Sunday here in the city today. So typically, like, the rest of the city seems to be a bit slower than usual. But here in the Chinatown area, as you can tell, it doesn't look like much has slowed down. But where we're staying in Bukit Bintang, it's, it's empty right now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's a ghost town. Complete different contrast than what you've seen so far. What are, you, what are your vibes of Malaysia so far? Like, how do you feel being here for the first time? I've spent a lot of time in the malls because their malls are super huge. And what I'm realizing is that the Malaysian people, they go big. If they're going to do something, they go so big. Everything's yeah. huge. Everything's super decorated. And man, I've only tried a few different dishes, but the food's good. Yeah, the food is so good. You know what? Let's actually, why don't we try here? Hello? Is bakso Malaysian? Yeah. yeah, it's Malaysian food. Okay. Um, can we try some bakso? What do you recommend? How are you? What's up, bro? How are you? I follow you. Hey, yeah, my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate you, man. Matter of respect, bro. Saw, Thank you, bro. You visit Egypt, Thailand, yeah, bro. India. Yeah, I'm from Saudi Arabia. Man, bro, amazing. I want to visit your beautiful country yeah. one day. 
This is my country. Yes, yes. Dude, actually. I gotta come. I gotta come down to see you, man. Yeah, Where yeah. Where you live at? In what city? I'm live here. I'm study here. Oh, so you're studying yeah, in yeah, Malaysia? Yeah, studying in Malaysia. Bro, Malaysia is such but a great I country. Huh? Studying in English, yeah. Okay. English, yeah. Man, very nice. But visit my Saudi Arabia, bro. I have to visit your country, bro. I'm coming where, soon, where okay? Bro? Maybe in. Um, I want to come after Ramadan. Ramadan? Yeah, after Ramadan, because I heard during Ramadan a lot of stuff is closed, okay. right? A lot of people are with their family. Yeah. You come visit me in Saudi Arabia? Bro, send me I a message know. on Instagram. You know a uh, message? Okay, this is my Instagram. Yeah, send me a message, brother. Yeah. What city are you from in Saudi Arabia? Because I'm, I'm living in uh, Medina. In Medina, you know wow, Lola? beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lola. Yeah. This is, this is your new, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. Alola is my dream. I want to go yeah, there yeah. one day. Cool, bro. I'm going to send you a message. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we meet up while I'm here. I got one more week. Yeah. Uh, just one week here? I just arrived. Okay. All right. Do you have number Malaysia? No, no, no Malaysia number. Okay. I I'll send you a message okay. though. No, I sent you a message. Okay. okay. But why you can? Uh, um, I'll there? accept my invites. I gotta accept it. Okay. Like it's okay. so many. I, I'll accept it though. I promise. You got my word. Okay. I'll see, see you, you later. Bro. Okay. Thank you. Nice, nice, you, nice meeting you, brother. Nice. Hey. Good luck. Nice friend. meeting you. You're from Kazakhstan. Where are you from? Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Man, dude, I'd love to go to your country one day yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. We we will wait to you, bro. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Well, send me a message. Maybe we get together tonight. Okay. You know? You, Later, guys. All right. Let's get to the boxo. Hello. So, um, which boxo do you recommend for me to try for my first time? Yeah. Boxo Biasa? Boxo Biasa and Boxo Brando. Okay. You know what? Um, let's do one of each. Yeah. Both. Can I do one of each? Yeah. One Boxo Biasa and one Boxo, boxo Barana. Yeah. Barana the big one. Oh, it's a big one, a big meatball. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Then let's just do one. I think we'll share one, right, Brad? And then we'll continue yeah, on. That sounds good. Okay, let's do one bakso biasa, yeah. and let's do one um, mango ice blended. Mango blended, all right. Yeah. And do you want a drink? Something to walk around with while we yeah, for sure. continue on? Yeah, I still haven't tried the mango. You want a mango shake? Mango All right, here in, <laughs> here in Malaysia, they do not play with the drinks. The mango shakes are crazy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite drink at your restaurant? Coconut. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. coconut. Okay. How much is a coconut? Coconut, seven ringgit. Seven yeah, Okay, you know what? Small. Then let's do two coconuts. Two coconuts. Two coconuts. Right. Yeah. This, we'll again? keep it healthy today. No mango. No mango. Two coconuts. Coconut. Right. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Welcome. Which noodles? Yeah, um, one, I'll do this one. Yeah, this okay. one. Is that the one you recommend for the bakso? Yeah, the yeah. Best, best, the best one. Okay, cool. Thank you, bro. Okay. Can I see how you prepare it? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that smells amazing. So here's the meatballs. Is it beef? Yeah, it's beef. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay, so first they throw in a little bit of the noodles. Those are uh, rice noodles? Yes. Oh man, Malaysian food is some of the best in the world, man. It's a noodle. That's rice noodle? Yeah, noodle. Okay. Let's see what happens next. Ooh, some meatballs. What are those ones? Smaller meatballs? Yes. Okay. A little bit of broth. So yes. That's so bakso. Bakso biasa. Bakso biasa. Okay. This one uh, bakso biasa. This one uh, English yeah, normal. 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 Yes, it's bakso normal. Bakso is normal. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Malay people, there's bakso biasa. Biasa. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Wow, Teddy Makasi. Okay, yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Well, let's have a seat. Maybe we'll just sit right here, huh? This looks like a nice little spot. Anytime you're sitting right on the street, it's good vibes, huh, Brad? I love it because you're mixed in with all the people. Yeah. You get to see the buildings all around us. It's a good vibe, man. So, yeah, this is why I love Malaysia. I love like the street side eats. I love all the people. And as I mentioned, the whole world is here. So you meet people like our friend from Saudi Arabia, our friend from Kazakhstan. Like the whole world is here. Wow, this is a real Malaysian <laughs> yeah. coconut, huh? Yeah. Where do these come from, sir? Borneo? Or from here? Yeah. From Selangor. From Selangor. Okay, thank you. All right. So you put a little bit of everything inside the box, huh? Okay, thank you. Teddy Makasi, bro. Thank you so much. All right, man. What a Malaysian coconuts. I think... Thank you so much. You know, 
I don't really drink coconuts too much unless I'm like at the beach or like in a place like Sri Lanka where they're found on every corner. But I guess, you know, now that I think about it, they are found on every corner here in the city. But whenever I'm walking around KL, man, I'm like a iced coffee or a boba kind of guy. Like that's what I'm walking around with when you see me. But man, cheers, bro. Let's cheers. just do a little slide <laughs> because this thing is heavy. And let's try these. No ice, it's good, it's fresh. Man, that is a good, yeah, no ice, huh? Thank you. Oh, to eat the inside. Thank you so much. Oh man, I love the Malaysians. But yeah, that is so good. Incredible, right? Yeah, super refreshing. It's nice, man. All right, so, you know what? Let's actually dive on into the box, so, but, you know what, first things first, let me show you, let me try and lift this thing up to get a little picture for, you know, the thumbnail, because that's what we do it. And yeah, look at this, guys. Oof. Man, that looks incredible. So, yeah, they gave us a fork and a spoon. Here in Malaysia, I noticed that they never give you knives. They always give you a fork and a spoon, and it's like, man, figure out what you do with this. But the Malaysian people got it down. They know exactly how to how to maneuver it all. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just going to add a, a little bit like that. I'm going to do it like some pho, you know? What is this? Um, hopefully that's not ketchup because... Um, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna do that one, actually. I don't know. I, is this ketchup? Not ketchup. You, do you recommend I put everything inside? Should I put everything inside? Yeah. Everything? Yeah. Okay. This is This is special. 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 Not too spicy? Spicy, yeah. Okay, all right. Spicy, yeah. Let's put a little bit in there then. All right, thank you. How do you say bon appetit in Malay? All right, so well, this is how we're gonna do this. Since this is a nice soup, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try it first and then we'll let Brad try it. Or you know what, dude, you're my guest, bro. You're my, what kind of hospitality is this? Come here, Big you try time. it, bro. Appreciate that. Oh, it smells so good. Did you want me to try it first because you don't know how spicy it is? Yeah, <laughs> all right, we can say that, we can say that. Dang, this looks good. Check, get some meat in here. Yeah, you gotta layer that bad boy up, bro. Hot. Oh, that's good. Mm. Is that good? Mm-hmm. It's not too spicy. Is it better than pho? <laughs> it's different. He's it's like, different. bro, let's not start no problems today. Let's not start no problems. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna start some problems today. I'm gonna let you guys know if the Malaysian bakso is better than the Vietnamese pho. Let's actually start some problems today, why not? <laughs> hey, don't hate me neither at the end when you when you figure out the which one's better, all right? When the results come in. I don't need hate comments, all right? All right, the moment of truth. You know what? I think I gotta go like this and then I'll put the meatball in my mouth after. A lot of things I've been saying this week have sounded absolutely terrible, but forgive me. Mm. God, Lee, you know what? I think I gotta do that again. I messed up. Holy cow, dude, that's so good. You know, oh, I, I, maybe I shouldn't start problems right now. Mmm, bro. I don't know what to say. It's bomb. So, the broth is very salty, but I love it. Um, the sauces definitely add a nice touch to it. I'm very bad at describing food, but the noodles, I love the fact that they are nice and thin. Sometimes those thick noodles, like, you know, I almost get full in an uncomfortable way. I feel like I could eat this entire dish and still have, like, energy to go out and do something, not like a a food coma. Right. Is that the kind of vibe you got off of yeah, that? you don't get all bloated from it. Yeah. It's very thin. It looks nice. Um, it tastes nice. It's great. The vibes. Yeah, you gotta love when someone's just talking in your ear when you're eating. Like, man, come on. Asia vibes, bro. You gotta love it. But, um, well, since we started problems already, let's just finish them. I think I prefer this over the fuck. Really? Yeah, man. I do. I definitely think I do. You know why? I just, something about the thin noodles, man. I think the thin noodles really do it for me. 
Um, now, if we're gonna compare this to like a Thai Tom Yum, then we got some problems. <laughs> like, then I'm gonna lose all my Malaysian friends because I gotta keep it real, man. A Tom Yum is the key to my heart. Are you gonna agree with me? Tom Yum's not Brad's my like, one. nah, Brad, Brad's, get out of here, bro. <laughs> I'm kicking this man off this video, man. He's not about to, he's not about to risk not, <laughs> not getting some Malaysian love. <laughs> smart man, smart man, okay? What's happening? Someone just, someone let me know what's, what's happening. I feel like I'm recording some beef right now. I feel like I'm just recording some beef behind me and some beef in my bowl. <laughs> you know why I love Malaysia so much in Thailand? It's like living in a soap opera. <laughs> like, look at what's happening behind me. Respect. See that? That was a, that was a handshake of respect right there. Mm. All right, you know what? Let me finish the bakso, let's drink our coconuts, and then we'll continue. But man, the bakso, I definitely approve of, especially on the streets of Chinatown. It doesn't get much better than this. Just finished up our meal, and oh man, dude, it started to rain. It's pouring now. This is bad luck, because we've had like drizzles all week, or the last three days we've been here, but now it's pouring, like legit pouring. What are we gonna do? I have no idea. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is for you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, okay? Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Well, you know what, Brad? We got to make the most out of it. Man, she's so happy with that. I, I guess people don't tip here. I guess people don't tip here, but that's just like the, the straight American and us. I feel like we tip everywhere, man. I don't know. I just can't get off of a table and walk away and not feel good without leaving a little something, especially when they're so nice and kind and... Uh, friendly. Oh man, yeah, it's coming yeah, down it's hard. It's coming down hard. You know what? Um, maybe we'll have to, yeah, just hide somewhere else. Oh wow, what, look at this. This is a restaurant right here. With a lot of little, a lot of really delicious local food. Man, the problem is, is that that box though is like, it actually is. I, I was kind of talking out of my, out of my butt in the initial. Uh, beginning of the video saying that oh man that's like one of those dishes you could probably eat and continue walking <laughs> but man i am full i want to go to bed after that it's actually very filling huh yeah pretty filling so you know what i'm gonna take you to one of my favorite side streets here in the city in chinatown i mean and we'll veer off into the right direction oh man there's like some guys selling watches and gambling right there I love when you're traveling around Asia. Have you noticed that you always find like elderly men gathered in parks and places and they're playing cards and dominoes? It's cool I've to seen see. I've a lot of that and I always see games I've never seen before. Yeah. Different games. It's super cool to witness. All right. Well, yeah, we'll walk down these side streets here in the back side of Chinatown and we'll see what else we come across. But yeah, the Merdeka Tower, man, so beautiful. Now here, you also got a lot of Western Places that you can come and eat like Domino's, KFC, for all of you people that are strange and don't like to try new things. You can find that food here as well. But let me just tell you guys, if you're in Malaysia and you're eating a KFC or Domino's, golly, bro, go home. Like that is the worst place to eat, isn't it? Like there's so much good food here. Yeah, like try something different. How, how are you going to come all the way over here and go to Domino's? <laughs> like it makes no sense. I don't think there's anything that we've tried here that has uh, been disappointing. Oh wow, look at this. I actually need like a bag like this. Hello, sir. How are you? How much is this one? This one. This one, 38. 38. Yeah. Do you have black? Black color? No, what only? Uh, one only. Finish. Only these ones. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, 38. That is a nice bag, huh? Yeah, small pocket. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that one. Oh, look, he has some nice watches, too. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank so you. 38 is... How much is 38? Be, I keep forgetting. But 38 is like... $7, $8. You know what, Brian? Maybe you can help me for a second? I think I lost my change already that the, gave, that the lady gave me. Oh, there it is. 38. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Are you from Malaysia? No, we're not going to do something. No, Teddy Makasi. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Beautiful, beautiful place. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, yeah, sir. Thank you so much. Um, 
I don't need bag. No bag. I wear it right now. I actually need one of these so bad. I've been Brad's actually been helping me all week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Brad's been helping me all week carrying my stuff. So yeah, <laughs> now he doesn't have to do that anymore. You know what? I should have I should have tried it on before I bought it. I think. Oh, no bigger one. Yeah, this one doesn't fit me. Same price? Yeah. What does it say? Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, can you open that one for me? Yeah, guys, well, good thing he accepts refunds <laughs> because this did not fit me. Yeah, you guys don't shop like I do on the camera, all right, guys? It's for entertainment purposes and entertainment purposes only. You'll waste your money. I waste my money a lot. Yeah, no, um, nothing inside, please. Yo, these are clean, too. I love the shops like this in Asia. You can purchase a little bit of everything. You know what, guys? I think I just purchased a man purse. Yeah, none of this is gonna work for me. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. It is what it is. Let's go. Maybe I'll just carry it like this. Maybe I'm just gonna wear it, rock it <laughs> like a purse, man. Fanny pack? That's what happens when you just are in a rush to buy something, man. Can't take Chris anywhere. Damn. All right, let's continue on with our little walk. Oh, wow. Is this Malaysian fried chicken? <laughs> Is this Malaysian fried chicken? Okay, okay. How much? Ten. Six. Ten, three. Six ringgit, ten ringgit. Six ringgit, ten ringgit. Okay, can we get, um, you want to try a piece of Malaysian fried chicken? I'd love to. Okay, can we do two pieces of uh, six ringgit? Oh, you're on TikTok. I see you. Are you making TikTok videos at work? Come on now. You're funny. Yeah, two, two six ring it. Yes, please. Betty Makasi. Oh, like she's even gonna heat it up for us. What's your TikTok name? <laughs> oh man, everybody's addicted to TikTok. I love TikTok too. You, you can find me on there also. If you haven't checked out my TikTok, you should. It's fun. Are you from Malaysia? No. Where are you from? Myanmar. Burma. Beautiful country too. How many years here? One year. Wow. And this is your business? Your business? Yeah. No? Oh. oh, you work here. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that looks nice, man. Some Malaysian fried chicken. So yeah, exactly what I said we weren't going to do is what we're going to do, Brad eat i told brad we're not gonna eat too much man we're we're gonna you know try one or two things but when you're in a chinatown anywhere in the world i mean the best part about visiting chinatown is the food so it's kind of hard to just walk away from it but yeah fried chicken extremely popular in asia actually brad lives in thailand and fried chicken is crazy in thailand they love oh, it yeah. oh yeah have you seen those little carts of course you've seen them <laughs> yeah. where i have all the fried chicken and like the grill attached to the side thank you so much here can you hold that for a second Let's pay. All right. Um, 12 ring it? Yeah, thank Three? you. Hold on, I'll give you a tip. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Well, it's raining. Can I, can I hide right here and try my chicken? All right, nice lady. This is why we had to, um, buy some fried chicken actually we're making excuses now but it's because oh oh man that's hot okay actually let me get this bag Brad all right oh thank you so much Teddy Makasi how do you say how do you say thank you in Myanmar in Burmese thank you thank you cheese 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 Cheese. <laughs> Amazing. Bro. Very good. Better than KFC. KFC, no good. This is good. Don't let me catch you guys at KFC here in, here in um, Kuala Lumpur. There's going to be problems. 
Yeah, there's gonna be problems, huh, Brad? <laughs> so juicy. It's so mm, good. Bomb. Mm -hmm. You know what? At KFC, you're gonna pay three times the amount for some fried chicken, and it's gonna taste three times, 20 times worse. All right? This is bomb. Damn, that's some good fried chicken, man. God, I think I'm just gonna make all kinds of excuses to just come and eat fried chicken now. Not just the rain. Wow. This is what I recommend you guys do when in Malaysia. Walk around and just eat everything. <laughs> That's how you're gonna have the best time here. All right. We'll hide out right here, mess up the fried chicken, and then we'll continue on with our walk. All right, that fried chicken was next level, but literally right next door. Look at this, man. They got wings, bro. <laughs> Food in Malaysia is crazy, bro. <laughs> I really want that right now, but I think we should continue to like try and find something crazy different. But man, what a system. Look at that. Korean wings, bro. No. These streets are crazy. All right. We're going to cross the street now because I see like there's a bunch of pork belly hanging on over there. Man, is this turning into a street food video? <laughs> I think it is, man. I think it is, huh? That is what I was trying to avoid today. Actually, you know what? Let's keep walking um, before we cross the streets because... I want to make sure I get around and show you guys several different areas. Now, this here is one of the side streets that actually gets you down to Petta Ling Street as well. There's actually many different entrances. You can come in from all uh, different sides. Now, this here is the famous Malaysian durian as well. Malaysia Super durian. Malaysia's number one. Very good. How much is the durian? Yeah, what you want? A small one, the big one. A small piece, but a good piece, a delicious piece. 65 ringgit. 65 ringgit for one kilo, okay. Yeah. Um, can I do, can I do like? Small one here, like the one just open the 49. Yeah. Is this a good one? A good one, more sweet. Very okay. Good. Which one number one, so? This is Malaysian durian. All Malaysian durian. All Malaysian durian. But what's yeah. the difference between the yellow this and the are, orange? This one's this one sweet. This one's more sweet. This one's sweet a bit too. This one's bitter? Yeah. Okay, then you know what? Let me try this one. One yeah. piece. Yeah. 49. 49. Okay, good. Can I sit here? Can yeah, can I okay. sit here? Okay. Thank you, thank you. Coconut, you want? No, no coconut. We just had one. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Oh, very good. Oh, that looks nice. Thank okay. you, thank you. Okay, good day. Yep. We're about to have one uh, piece of Malaysian durian. Oh, that's a glove. Okay, thank you. This is okay. I give you for for you try. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. You see that? The Malaysian hospitality, man. They bring you a water and everything. All right. Let's put a glove on. Yeah, can you help me out real quick, bro? Nah, I'm excited for this because to be honest with you guys, keep it real, I love durian, but I don't eat it too often because it is like one of the most expensive things you can purchase on the streets here. It is super expensive. This little piece to put it in, in um, comparison for you. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, put it, put it, put it. Okay, I eat it and throw the seed here. Okay, so durian is like a real um, pokey fruit, as you can see. It has spikes along the sides. But um, it's super popular in Asia, and it is loved by many people and hated by many more. Now this dish, uh, this treat, actually is extremely expensive. For one durian, you could spend anywhere between 30 to like $60, and I'm sure they even get more expensive than that. Now Brad, you live in the north of Thailand. How much is one durian? Yeah. Oh, no, I just dropped the durian, bro. I think, oh man. That was a big fail. You guys are gonna be like, what the hell? I just dropped the most expensive fruit in Malaysia. Bruh, I'm pissed right now. I'm biting into this. I'm still gonna do it. I'm I'm, I'm eating this right now. Damn, bruh. <laughs> That's crazy, Chris. That's what I get for playing with my food, man. My mom told me about that. All right. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm so disappointed in myself right now. It's such a creamy, delicious fruit, man. Personally, he said it's more sweet than the, than the yellow one, but I think this one is less sweet. Mm. No, that's crazy. I'm still gonna eat all of it. Yeah, let me take off my glasses. Dude, I'm so upset right now, guys. I would not lie to you guys for a video. I'm so upset that that just happened right now, but it's staying in the video. So upset right now. All right, dude, it doesn't even look dirty. It doesn't. 
All right, let's go to town on it. You gonna yeah. put on a glove? Yep. Let's do it. All right, here, let me help Brad then. Let me help Brad and then I'm gonna keep eating it. Dude, it's so good. So, like I said, it gets very expensive, the durian. So you best believe we're not wasting that. You know what, Brad, why don't we, um, why don't we just pour some water on it? Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. We could probably pour it into the bowl. It doesn't look dirty though. I mean, this side does, but the rest of it is, is safe. All right, we're gonna do a little. I dropped it. <laughs> durian cleaning. Durian cleaning right now. Oh, that came right off though. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, we're yeah. Good, man. No, it's good. good. It's good. I'm gonna eat the, this piece. Okay. Oh, the good one, bro. I, I dropped it on the floor, bro. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, I put water, water on it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had one that's like dark orangey like this before. Yeah, me neither. It's always like yellow, yellow, huh? Dude, that's good. It's crazy, huh? And I've had a lot of durian. That's creamy. Oh my gosh. It's delicious, man. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm about to eat the, the rest of it. It's crazy good, huh? No. You know what? A little bit of Chinatown streets on your food never hurt <laughs> nobody. Yeah, man. Wow. It's crazy good, dude. It's crazy good. Yeah, definitely, like... Delicious as hell. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, we're not gonna waste that. Hey, when you're in Mom. when you're in uh, Malaysia, Thailand, Southeast Asia, dude, you gotta try durian. Yeah, I'm not wasting this. I'm just gonna clean clean that little piece off again. Bro, <laughs> shit don't make no sense, man. It makes no sense how <laughs> fruit is that good. The king of fruit. But I think what we were saying was, when I dropped it, was how much is a, a durian in your, in your side so, of the country in Thailand? Like you said, they can get up to like 50, 60 bucks. I think, yeah, like you said, even higher. I went searching at a wholesale market in Chiang Rai to find the cheapest I could find. And we were able to get one that was like $15. Um, I actually went to a durian farm, and she was saying that she sells them wholesale for around $15, but in bulk. In bulk. In bulk, yeah. So Wow. They're expensive, But man. you know what? I will be honest with you. They're, um, Durian is one of those things that's also very tricky. You see people when they're buying it, they're like tapping it with a stick, smelling it. Like everybody has their technique on what they think a good durian should taste like or look like. But I have had some, when you open them up, they have like a really bad taste to it. And it's part of like the gamble, like it's a fruit. You you can crack it open and have a really good one. You can crack it open and get hits with a bad one. Now, now I will tell you one thing I don't like about the durian. I love the taste of it, I love everything. I just hate that like for hours later, <laughs> you're burping and it just tastes like straight durian. It doesn't get better. But yeah, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna finish this off. Um, man, get my life together clearly. And then um, I'll see you guys in a second. I love Malaysia so much. So he just finished the durian and he brought me a mango steam. This is very popular in Malaysia. Yeah. Man, we're dropping everything today. I think there might be a seed. Holy cow, dude. Dude, it tastes just like a lychee. Right? Better than a lychee, I think. More sweet, more sweet. Oh, there is no seed. Man, that is good. You know, the presentation, like the mango steam, it doesn't really call the attention too much, but man, when you open it, it's the beauty of a fruit. Wow, that is great, huh? It has nothing to do with a mango. Nothing to do with a mango. <laughs> all this, you know why I like trying like fruits like this in Asia? Because all of this fruit where we live would be so damn expensive that I would never try it. You know? That's something different. Mm -hmm. It's bomb. But seriously, I can't tell you how many times I've sat down somewhere in Malaysia and people bring you tea, people invite you to something else, or like, you gotta try this. Malaysian people love their food, man. And they love to eat. You know, you'll see people eating on the streets all day, huh? Have you noticed that? Oh yeah, totally. Mmm. I haven't had a single bad thing so far, and I feel like almost everything that I've eaten while I was here has been something new, like all this new food. Amazing. All right, I'm turning it off now. We're gonna jam out and just kick it here for a minute, and then we'll, we'll continue. Well, that was bomb. So bomb. I think this is gonna be a street food video, though, because, I mean, we're committed now. Brad Brad just got done telling me, man, I think we're committed, and I think we are. So let's, let's try another dish or two. Why not? Now this place, guys, if you really want to see this place at its full potential, you got to come on a Friday, Saturday evening, and this spot is the place to be. Ooh, what is this? Air Tebu. 
Air table. Oh, here, bro. I help you. I help you. Where you go? Straight. All right. You're good, bro. All right. You always gotta offer a helping hand. All right, let's go see what the heck this air tabu is. I feel like here in Malaysia, they put air in front of everything. Air mata kuching, what's good, bro? I know, I've been following you since you been to Tunisia. Really, bro? Yeah, we're from Tunisia. What's up, bro? What's up? I know, dude. Man, bro, I got yeah. mad love everywhere, huh? Yeah. Tunisia. Yeah. Where are you guys from in Tunisia? I'm from the south. Yeah. I didn't go. Yeah. I'm Man, you know why? It's the because when I was in Tunisia, I fell in love with Seuss, bro. Yeah. That's, that city's so yeah. beautiful, yeah. 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 but I'm coming back, man. The tu dude, the Tunisian people have been so good to me, man. Yeah. We can host yeah. Yeah. Really? Are you guys all in the south? Yeah. No, no, I'm in the capital. Oh, you're in Tunis? Yeah. Okay, so I'll fly in and visit you, and then I, we'll, go, we'll go on a road trip. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, if you want to go to the desert to Sahara, let me know. You live near the desert? What town yeah. are you in? What city? It's in Duz. Oh, man, everybody was telling me to go there. Yeah. 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 If you want to go, just let me know. Man, it's because, you know what? Tunisia is such a small country compared to the rest in North Africa, but it's so diverse. It's so beautiful. Yeah, you can find a lot of things there. Yeah, and I didn't realize when I looked at the map, I planned two weeks there. Bro, you need, like, at least a month to get away. Yeah. Man, well, it's so good meeting you guys, bro. What are you guys doing? Backpacking? Yeah, we're going to Thailand. You're going to Thailand when? Yeah. Going to the north, uh, south. So we're going when are you going? Rabbit. In two days. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm going in like five days. Maybe oh, yeah. we'll cross paths. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to Bangkok. I, I think I'm just gonna stay in Bangkok uh, though. No, no, we're going to the like, Phuket? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, that's a vibe. Yeah. yeah. Have you guys yeah, seen yeah, my yeah. videos from there? Yeah. yeah. Bro, it's yeah. such a good place, bro. The thing is, like, we 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 study here. We're students. Oh, we're cool. Like students in uh, Chinese university. So we have time. Okay. Right, so yeah, just yeah. like going back and forth. Bro, you're so taking time to fully explore you're taking advantage of, of being yeah, here then yeah. yeah exactly exactly it's cheap i mean if you yeah. have time and you plan ahead for the itinerary then yeah. exactly exactly and plus like for all of you guys watching that don't know exactly where tunisia sits yeah tunisia is north, north africa, africa. It's below it's any of france exactly and to get all the way you down here france, man huh? it's crazy expensive <laughs> to get all the way over here you yeah. might as well yeah, take yeah, advantage yeah. while you're here yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. yeah man well man so good it's meeting you guys bro yeah. i definitely want to go back um Next year, around the same time I was there this time because it was Muled Mubarak. Muled, yeah. yeah. And man, it was such a beautiful time to be there. I want to come back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Thank nice you. meet. What's your name? Uh, Aziz. 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 Yeah. Boren. Boren. Yeah. Boren. Nash. Nash. Yeah. That's a sick name. <laughs> cool. All of your names are sick, but that's cool. That's hella cool. All right. Well, see. Uh, enjoy Thailand, guys. Yeah, Keep in touch. Send me a message. That way I know who you guys were that I met you today. That way we'll we'll be friends on there. Okay. All right. Later, guys. All right, let's try this air tebu, man. What legends? Air tebu, sugarcane juice. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. So air tebu is sugarcane. Yes, sugar so tebu means sugarcane in Malay. Ah, I tebu. Tebu. Okay. Can I have one, please? What is the price? Six. Six ringgit. Okay. Oh man, nothing like a sugarcane juice. Here in Malaysia, this is also extremely popular, guys. It's super delicious. Would you like one on your own or do you want to share? I'll share. Okay. I'll share. All right. I'm already feeling full. It's okay, sir. Thank you. Teddy Makasi. Thank you so much, brother. All right. Well, you know what? I've had sugar cane juice before. I just didn't know that this was called Air Tebu. You know what? Let's try this. I didn't know it was Air Tebu, though. Sorry. Hello. Hi. Bruh, so good. You can't go wrong with sugar cane juice, though. Now, <laughs> I always love when people get caught staring at me. I get awkward. I don't know what to do. I just wave. Smile and wave, boy. Smile and wave. No, but this here? <laughs> no, but seriously, you guys. Sugar cane juice is delicious everywhere in the world. But what does air tebu mean? Let me know down in the comments. I think air means drink, maybe, because we, yesterday we had one called air kalat lupu. I've had air mata kuching. A bunch of different drinks, but man, this here is delicious. All right, Brad, give this a swing, man. Let me know what you think of that Malaysian sugar cane juice. That's bomb. It's good, Super huh? Super sweet, dude. Super I think sweet. I think something like this would definitely run you like a good, a good five six bucks at like a Whole Foods in like the U.S. You ain't gonna find it anywhere but like a Whole Foods. <laughs> yeah. But like that is good, man. And that was like what a dollar, 
dollar twenty-five for a nice solid juice. Actually, it might be a little bit less than that, but good, right? That's very you recommend refreshing. it? Oh yeah, for sure, hundred percent. Especially with this humid weather, you can see mm -hmm. why this is found everywhere. That's bomb. It's super good, and they make it fresh, man. Like they actually run the sugar cane through the machine and straight into the bottle. So oh, it's wow. pretty good, huh? Oh wow, yeah, right here. Yeah, these are the sugar canes. Oh sick. It's pretty I didn't cool. Even notice that? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Teddy Makasi. All right. Well, let's keep walking here. Let's actually close this up. You know, and I'll let you keep that one. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my right. gift. That's my gift from me to you, brother. Thanks, man. No, but it's super good, huh? Yeah, that's awesome. Something about, I think the best parts about being in Asia is just walking around and just eating things that you've never tried before. Or e even trying things that you've tried before in other places, but seeing how it's different. I've actually had sugar cane in a bunch of different places, but this is... It's a different color, first of all. Yeah. And it tastes very, very different, too. I wonder why is it a different color. Yeah. I wonder if they put something else inside of there, huh? Because a lot of times it's either... I think it's very lighter, huh? It's more yeah. like a... Yeah, it looks like lime juice, usually. I feel like. Yeah, good observation. But yeah, guys, this whole little area... It's not just street food as well, man. You got a lot of really trendy restaurants in between here. A lot of good breakfast spots. Ice cream shops jewelry shops a little bit of everything you find a lot of hotels and hostels here in this area as well this is where the backpackers like to come and stay because you can find a lot of very affordable accommodation here in this side of the city but yeah man i think we're making it towards the end now we'll continue all the way up to the end of the street but how have you enjoyed the time here in in chinatown i'm loving it i'm loving it i love trying all the different foods I love seeing how, because everything's so packed together, so it's very, like, there's a lot of action out here, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's Especially nice. Especially when it's raining, we have to kind of huddle under the things, people are walking by, it's very fast paced, I like it. It's cool. Now, you know what? Guys, oh man. I'm trying to make this year like my year of health, and I've been at the gym, I've been trying to work out, I have, huh? Yeah. Oh, I yeah, have, yeah. I have, I have. I'm not just saying that, guys, but <laughs> when I see a sign that says crispy pork noodle soup, it's hard to just keep walking, man. <laughs> Should we try it? Let's do it, man. Should we try it? Let's one last it. dish. One last I dish here. I think I can Canada only town. squeeze in one more dish. All right, let's do one more. We're going to share the crispy pork noodle soup, all right? All right, all right. But we got to try that. You got to agree with me, man. You can't just see a sign that says crispy pork and just walk away. Oh, yeah. I know the Chinese love their crispy pork, so it's got to be good here. Let's cross the street now. Not only the Chinese, man. I feel like in Thailand, man, the crispy pork is like a staple. Every time I'm in Thailand, all I eat is crispy pork. I feel like <laughs> I'm just addicted to pork, man. It's so good. Hello. Hello. Um, how much is your crispy pork noodles? It's after that, something like 40, 40 something. Okay, can we sit down and order? Yes, please. Okay, thank you. Um, let me see how I answer. Maybe through here. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is nice. We get to see the contrast between like the street food and a restaurant. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. You know what? We'll sit right here. Yeah, this is nice, huh? I think this is super cool because I'm able to show you guys like a little bit of a contrast. Like there's really nice restaurants here as well. I'm um, not saying that the ones on the street aren't nice. They're very delicious. Thank you so much. I think I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. The name of the restaurant is Crispy, crispy pork, pork Noodle, noodles, so yeah. I think I gotta try the Crispy Pork Noodle Soup, okay. right? Which one do you recommend? So, okay. This is our signature dish as well. That's a signature dish? And this too, actually. Okay, you know what? Let's do the let's do the number one. Okay. Why not? I think we're just gonna share one because we're trying food the, all around Chinatown. Yes. Chinese mix? Or? This is um, like Asian fusion. A mix of Thai, Bali, Filipino dishes since the owner is a Filipino American Chinese. Wow. This is what I'm telling you guys. Malaysia is so diverse. The food is just a melting pot on its own. Just a fusion of all kinds of different flavors. Okay, so anything else? Um, I think that's it. Thank you so much. You're, You're so kind. All right. So we just ordered the, the one of the most famous dishes here in this restaurant. The signature Thai style crispy pork. But yeah, in here, look, they got a Balinese, Babi Guling. And barbecue short ribs, Thai style. Oh, that's like pad ka prao. Oh, yeah, you like the pad ka prao, huh? Yeah, yeah pad ka prao always hits the spot. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Okay, yeah, Filipino uh, food. All right. So, 
Um, we'll wait a second and I'll see you guys once that crispy pork comes on out. It's, oh, you can't put crispy pork on a sign and expect me to just walk on past it. It's not happening. Oof. Yeah, good thing we ordered one. Look at this, guys. How incredible does this crispy pork noodle soup look? Oh man, it smells just, yeah, beyond amazing, man. I don't know how, to, how else to explain it, but look at all this juicy crispy pork inside of here. Oh man, oh, the same noodles from like the boxo. Oh, bro, that's something different, huh? Look at, look at this so man's good. face, bro. It's just steaming in my face. Oh yeah, my it's, gosh. It, hey, the smell is just incredible. Yeah. Huh? Here, bro, dig in, grab a spoon, grab a spoon. Yeah, you don't gotta wait for me. I, that would be cruel. <laughs> Let's try this. Oh, man. Bro, this, this smells so damn good. I know I'm already gonna like it. Like, I'm gonna be back here for sure. I don't know. Earlier today, we went to the mall to try and have lunch. And we walked right out of there and went straight to a Chinese noodle shop <laughs> because we were like, man, we can't eat at the mall when we're in Malaysia. Impossible. Like, the food's too good. And this is 14 ringgit, so like three bucks. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Bro. Mm. This my mm. bro, this is my favorite my favorite food. Oh I think this God. is my favorite food that I've tried in Malaysia. On the street, on Chinatown oh. Street. That's so good. Between this and the nasi lemak, I think those are my two favorite dishes in the country. This here, I'm not leaving without coming here again. <laughs> like it's not happening. Mm. It's crazy, huh? Mm -hmm. They don't mess around. This crispy pork is like nothing but like, man, it has a little, it has that crispiness to the sides, but. Man, it's so tender, juicy, full of flavor. I mean, look at that. This place is crazy, man. You know what? I'm going to put this place down below in the comment section on a Google... Re on my, I'm going to share my Google map location because I, you guys have to come here. This is a must when in the city. video ends here man it, it couldn't have ended with a better with a better ending man this stop was a must huh oh yeah I don't know how they make it so crispy and like, what was your favorite dish that you tried today this one this one huh easy. hands down yeah easy yeah that fried chicken was bomb though I've never had fried chicken that good but dude this is this, next this level is favorite, yeah yeah guys I think with this uh crispy pork noodle soup man we're finishing the video I'll leave the location to this spot down below come try it you'll be blown away and you'll be like yeah, I see exactly why they were making all them noises when they've been into that pork, man. This is something that shouldn't be played with. All right, well, Brad, thanks for joining me today. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for and having me. And I'll see you guys again soon for another one. Later, guys.